Live from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News at 5 starts now. Good evening, I'm Emily Flores. Thank you for joining us here at ABC4 News. We begin with news of a journalist and sports fans. They're both mourning the untimely death of ESPN reporter Ed Ashoff. Now, the 34-year-old was healthy, but died on Christmas Eve after revealing that he contracted pneumonia. Ashoff first felt symptoms in early November, we're told, initially believing his headache and cough were caused by smog in Los Angeles. By Thanksgiving, he said he was experiencing a fever, cough, and fatigue. Then on December 5th, he revealed he had been diagnosed with bilateral pneumonia. Wow. Well, while it's not common for young adults to die of pneumonia, an Intermountain Healthcare expert says it's still a dangerous infection no matter how old you are. ABC 4's Haley Hendricks takes a look at what it is and how to treat it. A runny nose, sneezing, and a cough. These are common symptoms of a cold. But if you can't seem to shake the short-term viral infection and begin to develop a fever, your cough worsens, and you have difficulty breathing, it might be time to talk to your doctor. So if somebody has a chest cold and then they develop a fever and chills, that's a bad sign for pneumonia because chest colds usually don't have fever. But just because you might have a cold, it doesn't mean you're the only one susceptible to pneumonia. What can happen in healthy people is that they can have a virus come on, weakens the lungs a little bit, and then a bacteria sets in. With Utah air quality alternating between good and poor, Dean says it's important for you to know when it's best to stay inside. When the Wasatch Front has bad smog uh, during the wintertime and the particulate matter is high, the incidence of pneumonia triples, uh, and we also have a tripling of the death rate. Pneumonia was the 10th leading cause of death in Utah in 2017, according to the Center for Disease Control. To reduce your risk of getting pneumonia, the CDC recommends being vaccinated. Reporting in Murray, Haley Hendricks, ABC4 News. Young children and those over the age of 65 are more likely to contract the lung infection. However, that doctor, Dr. Dean, says if you smoke or have underlying medical conditions, you do pose a higher risk. 